Hello, friends. This is Phil Bechtel from the Kid Stories Podcast. And today we're going to draw together. We're going to draw a gloop soldier. Now, gloop soldiers are a pretty new character. They were an enemy that we encountered in Ben Ben's origin story. Him and his sister Stella had to escape the gloop army as they sort of were taking over their entire island. So today we're going to draw a gloop soldier together. So this is the one that I drew. I actually drew a couple. Um, so you can kind of see the differences in the ones that I drew. This one has multiple weapons. I imagine that these gloop soldiers are are sort of um, like jello creatures, you know? They're like all uh, squishy and blobby and they roll around and they can stick as many arms out as they want. Today we're I'm going to draw this one with you and I... I think we'll have some fun doing it. So we start out, the first line that we really draw is just like a big hump. It's just like part of a circle. You ready? And I don't even draw the arms at first. I just draw the body of the gloop just like that. Now the part that rests on the ground, I imagine, gets kind of squished down by the weight of the gloop. So I'm going to draw this part kind of flat. So you can draw a little lip coming out of the bottom and then all the way underneath the gloop back around to the other side. Now you can figure out where you want your arms to come out. Maybe your gloop has an arm coming right out of the top of his head, or maybe he has three arms or four arms. I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna start with one about here. So all I have to do is I erase part of this, of the body here, and then I make another sort of curved line. I lead it right out of the body, and that curved line comes up like that. And his other arm, I'm going to kind of stick closer to his head, just so it looks a little wonky, a little wobbly. And I'm going to do it just like that. Another curved line. Mostly it's just curved lines we've made so far. Now this gloop is going to be holding a couple of swords. Now the first one's going to come out of this arm. So to draw the hilt, we just start with a little square. So just draw a little square up, over, and down. It doesn't have to be just like mine. And to draw the blade, oh, sometimes we draw this part of the hilt. And to draw the blade, we just draw a big line up. And then from the top of the blade, we curve it at the top and draw it straight down. Now in the gloop's other hand, I'm going to draw a bit of a smaller sword. Maybe it'll be a little dagger, right? We'll draw a little hilt. And then this blade will just come up and it'll be like a triangle. Just like that. Maybe I'll make it to a point like that. There we go. So there's our gloop, our basic gloop with his two swords. When I draw my gloops, when I, when I was writing the stories, I imagined them having only two beady eyes. No, no nose or mouth or anything like that. So I'm going to draw one eye here. I'm going to go across to the other side of his round gloopy body and draw another one. That looks pretty good. That's a good start. I'm going to color these eyes in. These gloops look cute. They really do. But they're not. They're awful. They're mean and they're dangerous. So now that we have his eyes done, what I like to do sometimes after I'm done drawing with a pencil is I like to do an outline with like a, a black crayon or a black colored pencil or a black marker is what I'm going to use today. Maybe you like to do this too. And maybe we can do it together now. I'm going to start with his eyes. I'm going to color in his eyes all black. Just like that. And now I'm simply going to go over the lines that I made before. And it doesn't have to be perfect. When we sit down to draw, we don't need to be too concerned with making perfect lines, or with making perfect corners. The thing that I think when I draw, that uh, the thing that I like that makes an image really awesome, and it really is something I look at and, and I really enjoy later, is when I just finish it. Sometimes I'll start drawing and I won't like it, so I'll erase it. And I'll draw a little more and I won't like that, so I'll just erase it. But I find that when I just work really hard to finish a picture, then in the end, it ends up looking pretty great. 
I have some parts here that aren't perfect. Some flat parts to my gloopy's curvy body, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it just like that. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some color. Now, the gloop we saw before was blue and yellow, and that's a nice color scheme. I like to think these gloops, though, can change their color. I like to think they can be any color they want. And I'm going to imagine that this gloop has more of a red. I'm going to imagine that he is angry. He's entering battle and he's upset about it. And so he's gonna be a little bit red. So I'm gonna do red and yellow. So here's my, my red. I'm gonna have red kind of on the outside of his body, on the edge of his body. His little gloopy arms. All along the bottom of his gloopy body. There we go. I'm gonna leave a little opening at the top just to make it a little different. Sometimes it's cool to have symmetry. Sometimes it's kind of cool to make things a bit wonky. I like to think these gloops are imperfect and wonky and kind of weird. Now I'm gonna add some yellow. I'm gonna fill the entire inside of his body with yellow. This is a bright yellow. I think next time I'm, I'm gonna use some colored pencils. But for now, the markers were what I grabbed. So that's what I'll use. There we go. It's a nice little gloop. Now usually I'll draw my sword hilts in brown. And I'm gonna look through for a gray marker. Let's see. I'm gonna use this little gray one here to make the metal part of my, of my swords. Just like that. And I'm not gonna fill it in all the way. I'm just gonna shade it in here just so we know what it is. It kind of resembles an actual sword. But once I'm done drawing and coloring, sometimes, usually, I really like to label my drawings, especially when it's like just one thing or one creature. So I'm gonna get my marker here and I'm gonna write underneath, just like the other one, it said gloop soldier, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna write G L O O P and then soldier starts with an S O L D I E R and there's our gloop soldier looks pretty cute but it's actually quite menacing so I hope you had a good time drawing your gloop soldier I would love to see it so if you would have your adult help you email me your drawing, that would be fantastic. And then we could put it on the website and show everyone and we could compare our drawings and see the different ways in which they're similar and different. Until then, keep an eye out for the next episode of the Kids Stories podcast. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Adios.